Imagine you just woke up from a dream. You felt like you were floating on a cloud. There were colors you've never seen before and you feel so inspired to grab your paints or grab your sketchbook and get that idea onto the paper. You feel this sense of urgency to make the things and the ideas in your head a reality through the visual medium. You want to create something from it. You want to portray that idea to the world, whether it's writing, illustration, singing, painting, drawing, whatever it is, you want to get that idea out. Now imagine you go on social media the first thing in the morning when you wake up and you pop open Instagram and right on your homepage is someone who has the perfect studio, they have perfect hair, they have perfect skin, they have hundreds of thousands of likes, and all of a sudden that idea gets overshadowed by the feeling of not being good enough. That spark that you woke up with is actually taken away by your comparison to others on social media. We see the perfection, we see everything that's going well in other people's lives all the time. And buying into the idea that everyone's life is perfect except for yours is killing your dreams. It is killing your creativity. It is completely ruining that spark that's inside of you. What that does to your brain is it makes you believe that you need the perfect conditions, the perfect studio, the perfect lighting, the perfect house, the perfect XYZ before you can even pick up your guitar, your paintbrush, your pencil, whatever it is. It creates this false belief that everything has to be perfect before you even try. And it kills that idea. That spark is no longer there because you're not perfect. You never will be. And those people you're looking at on social media that have the perfect studio, the perfect life, the perfect art, they're making so much money, whatever it is, whatever you think is the ideal person that you need to be in order to start creating, that's not real. It is made up. It is a curated version of other people. You don't see the times when they're in the studio and they're frustrated because they don't know how to draw something or maybe their loved one passed away and all of their inspiration is gone but they're still posting on social media because it's their business to post on social media. You don't know their life. So whatever perfection you're seeing or the idea that you have in your head about who you need to be before you start does not exist. Let me repeat. The perfect version of yourself that you think you need to be in order to start creating does not exist. And when you see it in other people, that also doesn't exist. Perfection is destroying your life. Waiting for everything to be perfect before you even start is destroying your life. If you can create in times of stress and without things being perfect, you become more resilient to future challenges. The second thing that creating during times of hardship can do to you is it helps you process your emotions and your thoughts in a way that doesn't live in your brain. Sometimes when we're going through something very difficult, it's important to get out of our own heads and onto the paper, into the creative realm, to lose ourselves in a project or an idea. In my opinion, the best times to create in terms of self-fulfillment and self-growth have been times of complete imperfection. I pick up that paintbrush and I'm able to actually sit with those thoughts in a way that doesn't feel as uncomfortable because I have my paintbrush with me. And sometimes I actually stop thinking if I'm in the flow. I actually give myself up to something else, whatever that is, has a way of washing away all of my problems, 
for however long I am painting. I am making this video to invite you to pick up that paintbrush, to pick up that charcoal, to pick up whatever it is that you creatively want to do. I invite you to do it regardless of how you feel, regardless of where you are, regardless of how perfect everything is or isn't. I invite you to start. Simply start. If you're waiting for perfection, you will wait your entire life and that is an absolute tragedy. And be bad at it. If you've never tried it before, be bad at it. If your desk is in the corner of your room and you have terrible lighting, let that be. Create anyway. Regardless of your circumstances, you can pick up a pencil and a sheet of paper and draw something on that sheet of paper. It's probably not going to look good if this is your first time doing it, but 99.999% of people in this world build up so-called talent through skill building, through going through the imperfection of the process to making messy art. And those people you see that have perfect studios that do art full time, they very likely started similar to how you are starting. They probably started in their school notebooks just drawing stuff around the corners. They probably started in a bedroom with really bad lighting. They probably started with no camera except for the camera on their phone. They probably started with student grade materials. And they are where they are because they kept going. Let's stop comparing ourselves to the perfection of others that does not exist. And let's start having fun in the imperfection and the challenges and the ugly art. That is so much fun to make an ugly piece of art. And then the next time you try that thing to get a tiny bit better. That is one of my favorite feelings in the world, and if you are an artist or anybody who likes to get better at anything, you understand that feeling. So instead of chasing this perfect ideal, head in the clouds, eye in the sky kind of idea of what life should be that is leaps and bounds from where you are, let's keep our eyes right in front of us and take tiny steps forward and just have a ball doing it. Let's just have fun. If we're not having fun creating, what the hell is the point? So pick up that pencil, pick up that paintbrush, regardless of your hair being out of place or the insecurities of your weight or the insecurities of your skin or you think that people won't like you because of it. It's completely valid. I understand where you're coming from. And I'm not saying those thoughts are not going to go away, but let's just not give them any power anymore. Let's stop letting our perfectionism make the calls for our life. I wanted to highlight in this video my current studio which doesn't have the best natural lighting. I am creating at night, but I wanted to make this video anyway. I wanted to share this process of this painting instead of waiting for my hair to be perfect, for my skin to clear up, for my lighting to be better, for my studio to be bigger, for my painting to be more finished. Instead of waiting for all of those perfect ideals, I still created this video. It's a very rough look into my artistic life, but that's the point. It might not even get me a thousand views. It might not even give me a hundred views, but what it will give me is the experience of filming myself creating in the way that I want to film myself. So instead of waiting for those perfect conditions, I just did it. <laughs>